Welcome back. You're watching Green Line. Traditionally, South Africans have built houses from brick and mortar. But with insulation being a key pointer of sustainable living, other materials are being considered. Hemp is incredibly versatile. It provides us with almost everything from food to clothing to alternative building materials. And even though it's still not legal to grow this miracle crop in South Africa, hopefully the more we learn about it, the more willing we'll be to accept it. Tony Budden, down in the Cape, has built his house from hemp, both inside and out. We know that hemp can heal people, feed people, provide jobs, even house people. So instead of getting frustrated with the fact that we can't grow or cultivate this plant in South Africa, Tony has taken it one step further. And I guess he's proving that hemp can help combat climate change. We started with Emporium in 1996 already bringing in hemp fabric and making bags out of a very strong canvas. You know, the word canvas comes from the word cannabis. And at that stage we thought, this is really strong. It's three times stronger than cotton. And, yeah, it made really durable, good bags, and we started that way. We got into the clothing, we got into the body care, and the more we learned about cannabis, the more we saw that this is a plant that's been maligned because people smoke a certain variety of it. And when we learned about hemp as a construction material, we decided, look, we've got to showcase this. Let's actually bring it here so people can touch and feel and be welcomed into the space to really experience it and to see that we can move with building into a renewable space where at least 50% maybe more of these walls is grown in four to five months instead of an extractive process where people are pulling clay out of the earth, uh, cement, all of that, it's not renewable. We now can grow houses. What are the benefits of constructing with hemp as opposed to other materials? It's a living, organic, breathable uh, building. So these walls actually absorb moisture release moisture so when you have a high humidity situation they will pull the moisture into the walls and then when it gets drier they will release it so you have a much more temperate zone inside your house instead of spikes up when it gets hot or down when it gets cold as far as as building again you are not surrounding yourself by dead matter you know like by cement or stone and everything this this building has an energy the benefits for the environment are that it's renewable the space that this house was grown on can grow another house next year. The insulation of hemp is a big value as well. It's a hollow fiber, so it really creates a, a good insulation factor as well. Then also, we, we're looking at the next level after this with the construction, is our finishings where we can show the other side of hemp, where we're having hemp carpets, hemp couches, uh, using hemp oil on the wood, that kind of thing. What are the other green properties that you've included in the house? We've got water saving taps, we've got the double glazing, we've got LED lights, energy efficient appliances, we're cooking with gas, a solar geyser, and we're using other things like this is recycled Oregon pine from ceiling boards and we've reused it, given it a second life. So the whole idea is cradle to cradle, not cradle to grave. We're trying to make sure that things extend instead of having to mine again, we are reusing. Another thing we've done with the windows is we put thermostats on either side and we've attached motors to certain of the windows that will open automatically on whichever side of the house is hot or cooler depending whether it's winter or summer. So again, it's cutting down the need for energy to heat or cool the house. We like to say that hemp equals jobs, houses and food. And obviously with as little impact on the environment as possible. We're looking at really rejuvenating the, the rural economy. You're making jobs in the farm areas so that we can stop this urbanization, which will be of benefit to all South Africans. So with hemp being a really accessible crop to a small scale farmer, you know, they, they don't need to buy bags of fertilizer, bags of pesticides, bags of herbicides to make it grow. It grows very well organically and you can use the outside bark with your fiber, the inside the stalk for your building materials and paper and then the seeds as well for food or for cosmetic products. So just as far as a benefit for farmers, you're not getting one revenue stream if you're growing cotton or, or flax or soy. You can sell three different products. 
So we've got the farmers happy, we've got people in the cities, obviously, you know, creating the factories, getting job creation, and then we also have the people who are getting the benefit at the end. Someone who buys a hemp product will have something that's durable, it's natural, it will feel good, and it will last. We've kept the design contemporary in order to make this house accessible to a wider range of people. We want to show that you can still live in the mainstream, look normal, wear normal clothes, but be sustainable just by changing the resources you use. The ultimate aim as well is to showcase hemp as a resource that can provide houses, your, your textiles, all these multitude of uses while respecting the planet. The aim of this is to show how we can move from an extractive building method, which is mining clay and cement and all of that, into a re renewable or sustainable building method where we are growing houses. Traditionally, South Africans prefer brick and mortar when it comes to housing. But as the green industry is growing and gaining momentum, so we're being turned on to alternative materials like steel frame homes, wooden frame homes, and now hemp. However, being a pioneer is not always easy, but it is the kind of thinking that is required if we are going to have a strong, sustainable industry.